uh, Your Majesty, King and Ingwenyama, uh, King Mswati III, Emma Kosigati, Your Excellencies, uh, representatives of heads of state and government, Your Excellency, the former Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Haylem Mariam Boshem, representative of the chairperson of the African Union, Your Royal Highnesses, councillors, chiefs, Chief Justice, Deputy Prime Minister, Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, presiding officers and members of both Houses of Parliament, representatives of SADAC and Commerce Secretariat, the CEO and team of the Africa Electronic Trade Group, captains of industry and members of the private sector, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am honored and humbled to be offered uh, this privilege of making a few remarks before His Majesty King Mswati III before he addresses this gathering, the nation and the whole world. Your Majesty, we are grateful for your astute leadership which has brought us together today to witness this historic launching of e-commerce platforms in Africa. I emphasize historic because we are the first country in Africa to pilot this significant program which is expected to transform trade in the African continent. Your Majesty, trade liberalization remains a key challenge for Africa, a continent which continues to lag behind from the rest of the world in terms of intra-trade and digitization. With these e-commerce platforms, most of the challenges faced by Africa will be addressed at the click of a button. The e-commerce platforms are among the most effective ways to put Africa on the pathway towards establishing a data-driven economy and in essence promoting cross-border data flow leading to the creation of new African markets, particularly for micro, small, medium enterprises. One of the key benefits of these platforms will be creation of jobs especially for the young population of the continent. The caliber of delegates in this room, Your Majesty, is testament of the sincerity with which Africa has embraced the initiative of boosting intra-Africa trade. Africa indeed needed such a platform in order to enhance and speed up the operationalization of the African continental free trade area which came into force in July this year. Your Majesty, yesterday I had the opportunity to officiate during a high-level business forum hosted by the private sector at Mavuso Trade Exhibition Center, where barriers to intra-Africa trade were discussed at length. What was apparent from the discussions was the determination of Africans to bring down all the barriers inhibiting intra-Africa trade. And from those deliberations, I have no doubt, Your Majesty, that Africa shall rise and claim its place in the global economic space. Your Majesty, may I once again congratulate you for being the first head of state to commission such an important program in the African trade agenda. As a nation, we are constantly inspired and encouraged by your guidance and passion for Eswatini and Africa. It is now my honor to invite His Majesty King Mswati III and Ingwenyama to address this gathering, the nation and the world. <laughs> 
wimbu ube uya sabega ule matole zinti nyati e, sita ukela kubene nektula be kunene lipubesi selta upoza bae te weno apaga Makoskati, Your Royal Highnesses, Prime Minister, former Prime Minister of Ethiopia and a member of board of directors of AE Trade Group, Excellencies, heads of intergovernmental organizations or their representatives, Mr. Maulo Soma, CEO and Chairman of the Board of the African E-Commerce Trade Group and uh, its uh, members, Councillors, Chiefs, Chief Justice, Deputy Prime Minister, Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Presiding Officers and members of both Houses of Parliament, Captains of Industries, Distinguished Ladies, and gentlemen, Sinfusele Nonge Begunene Lapa Emanfu. It is an immense pleasure to welcome you all to this historic occasion of the launch of the Regional Office for Southern Africa of the African Electronic Trade Group on the e-commerce e e platform. We are greatly honored that you have taken the time to join and celebrate this uh, momentous occasion with the Kingdom of uh, Eswatini. We extend a warm welcome to you all, especially our visitors from outside the borders of the Kingdom. As, members, as, as a member of the African Union, we consider ourselves privileged to have been selected to host a regional office of uh, such strategic importance towards the implementation of the African continental free trade area. The Kingdom is con cognizant of the fact that uh, this office is for the Southern African region. Therefore, for it to function optimal, it will require close collaboration of all member states in the region. The role of the office will be to facilitate the marketing of goods from both individuals and companies on a platform that uh, provides easy access to goods that uh, are available in the region. This is a, a paradigmic shift from the traditional online trading that we are used to. It brings a, a new e-commerce platform that uh, will be marketing products for the entire region. It seeks to remove the barriers to trade for small entrepreneurs, especially accessing to training, finance, and markets. This market will create confidence in, in, in consumers as it will be regulated by policies of the African continental free trade area. Our private sector is encouraged to use this uh, facility as it will enable them to market their products to regional, continental, and global consumers. Essentially, the country will be responsible for 
ensuring no one is left behind in accessing the new continental market and is able to compete for the opportunities that the African continental free trade area brings. In this regard, since the African continental free trade area has come into force, we take this, opportun we take this opportunity to encourage member states in the, in the region to ratify the agreement so that uh, we have a, a sizable critical mass of uh, implementers of this agreement when it becomes operationalized in July 2020. Your Excellencies and distinguished guests, our private sector is uh, eagerly waiting with great excitement for the implementation of the continental free trade area, which presents a market size of over 1 billion inhabitants with full participation by all African Union member states. The Kingdom of Eswatini is alive to the reality that uh, in an increasingly globalizing and uh, paperless world, the digitalization of uh, commerce presents opportunities and challenges. A recent report by the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development projects that uh, the digital economy will be worth 23 trillion US dollars by 2025. However, it is of great concern that uh, digital wealth is still highly concentrated in the hands of a few large digital platform companies with the African continent trailing considerable way behind. For example, platforms of some countries account for 75% of all patents of all patents related to blockchain technologies, 50% of uh, global spending in the Internet of Things, over 75% of, of the cloud computing market, and about 90% of the market capitalization value of the top 70 digital platform companies. This obvious This obvious and clearing digital divide, therefore, requires, con requires concerted global efforts to ensure that the gains in the economy are widely spread to the majority of people who are currently reaping little from it. It is for this reason that uh, Africa is strongly advocating for an inclusive and a participatory global digital economy. This facility will not only confine her citizens and private sector as the mere users and consumers, but also as producers, exporters, and innovators, and in that way, creating opportunities for having a meaningful share in this digital prosperity. We are aware that uh, the main drivers of uh, value creation in the digital economy are digital data and digital platforms. Hence our motivation to partner with the African Electronic Trade Group. This partnership speaks to a shared vision and, desire, and a desire by Africa to own her data and also harvest the digital intelligence generated in that data. It is encouraging to note that uh, the African Electronic Trade Group is uh, focusing on building domestic capabilities to create and capture value in the private and public sectors. The inclusive approach that uh, the group is uh, adopting 
which is aimed at uh, creating a digital transformation business culture, especially among the youth and the small, micro, and medium enterprises. This is in concert, this is, this is in concert with our aspirations in the African continent to arrest the scourge of uh, unemployment and to improve the competitiveness of SMEs. Your Excellencies and distinguished uh, guests, we take this opportunity to appeal to our developed partners that African governments require policy space to regulate the, the digital economy to meet different legitimate public policy objectives. In this digitalization space, we still have uh, challenges that include competition, taxation, cross-border data flows, intellectual property, trade, and employment policies. To this end, international policies should focus less on only bragging about more African users and consumers online, but on support that will reduce the digital divide. As much as governments have, have a pivotal role in shaping the digital economy, the, adaptation, the adaptation, adaptation of the existing policies, laws, and, leg, and the regulators, and adoption of new, of new ones where they do not exist will require the, participa the participation of the private sector. For our private sector to capture the value of the digital economy, they should be prepared to embrace new technologies and to enhance strategic partnerships that will have a, that will have a positive bearing on their competitive position. Your Excellencies, we are mindful that uh, of the five regions of the African continent, the Southern African Regional Office of the e-commerce platform is the first one that is being launched. Other regions will follow suit and we take this opportunity to pledge our support for the launch of these regional offices and its headquarters. In our view, these offices will not only champion the digitalization of the African continent, but will uh, reshape and transform our, conven our conventional way of trading among ourselves and the rest of the world. This will uh, fast track the realization of uh, the African Union Agenda 2063 objectives of the Africa we want, and we take our four prayers for the political emancipation the challenge that lies before us is to take the button and uh, liberate the continent economically. We urge all countries of Africa to take ownership of this uh, initiative and make full use of these facilities. Everybody has a duty to make sure that uh, they are properly used and well looked after for the benefit of future generations. <laughs> Lastly, we wish to thank you all once again for your attendance and we extend our appreciation to all those who have uh, contributed to the success of this uh, event. We do hope our visitors have enjoyed 
their stay and wish you safe travels home. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my singular honor to launch the regional office for Southern Africa of the African Electronic Trade Group on the e-commerce platform in the Kingdom of Eswati. I thank you, may Almighty God bless us all.